Welcome back. It is 810. Many people believe being a parent is the toughest job in the world, but there's free help out there for those who have questions or who might be going through some challenges. It's called the Parent Line. And joining us now with more is Cassie Segovia. Good morning, Cassie. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning. Tell us more about the Parent Line and what it offers. Sure. So the Parent Line is funded by the Hawaii State Department of Health. We're administered by Child and Family Service, and we operate out of our campus here on the island of Oahu. We're a gatewide resource that helps families navigate through issues and help answer questions and concerns parents may have regarding parenting. It is an accessible resource to anyone in Hawaii, so we highly encourage families to definitely take advantage of it. Um, we have experienced specialists who are available to help problem solve challenges parents may be facing regarding development, um, behavior, setting routines, looking for educational activities that are safe and age appropriate, or also just being a form of support to parents and caregivers who may be feeling overwhelmed. Um, our specialists are also able to assess and direct callers to community resources that are available to them. Now, in the news recently, there have been a lot of hate crimes, a lot of violence. Do you offer any kind of help or tips on how parents can communicate and talk to their children about that and what's going on in the news? Absolutely. So Child and Family Service, who operates the Parent Line, is a community-based organization um, that has a mission of strengthening families and fostering the healthy development of children. Um, so, so with that, we continue to be fierce advocates our, in our 120, 121-year history of existence at CFS um, for families and children who are facing social injustices and inequalities. And we have experienced um, staff who are, on, who are on standby that staff the parent line um, who are trained in cultural diversity and sensitivity so they can be a form of support um, to families who may be facing certain challenges during the time. And speaking of challenges, what type of calls have you been receiving lately? What kind of topics or issues? Sure. So as you can imagine, this year has been very difficult for many families, um, for really everyone. So many of the families we came into contact with, um, you know, had difficulties in making ends meet. So as a result of that, many of the calls that we received were regarding concrete support. So that could be looking for food. It could be looking for housing assistance, utility assistance. And second or equal to that is, um, was distance learning. So providing support and reassurance to parents who are adapting to a new normal, which was distance learning. Unfortunately, for many of those families, they've lost employment over the course of the pandemic um, or were unable to work because they needed to be home with their kids. So over the course of the year, we did see many of those challenges that whole, um, Hawaii families have been facing. A lot of challenges this past year and challenges that continue. So for those parents who do need that extra help, this is free. And Cassie, can you tell us how they can get in touch with you and what are the hours of operation? Sure. So our services are absolutely free to those in Hawaii. You can give us a call on the parent line. Our number is 808-526-1222. We also have a toll-free number. It's 1-800-816-1222. And we have experienced staff that are staffing the parent line Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. And Saturdays and Sundays from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. Unfortunately, we are not operating um, on state holidays. However, we still encourage you to um, access our website. It's theparentline.org. Um, during operating hours, callers are, um, have the option to access the website and they can um, have a live chat with one of our specialists who are on standby. We can still provide that support and information parents may be looking for, same as you would um, when they call us directly. Some people are more comfortable using that platform over calling us and that's completely fine. If it's outside of our operating hours, they can still go to the website leave their contact information, and one of our specialists will follow up at the earliest convenience. Um, our website actually houses a lot of information and resources that are beneficial to the community. So we encourage you to go there. Um, we have information on parenting, education, child development, as well as community resources. Once you go in and you kind of peek in and you have questions, we encourage you to give us a call. And it's great that you have some hours on the weekends, on Saturday and Sunday, yeah. too, when people might have more time to call. And I like that this is available for free because being a parent, it's not easy. You don't have all the answers. And sometimes it's good to just reach out to someone to, to, to know that you're not the only one going through this. And there is help out there. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Cassie so Segovia, for joining us this morning. Have a good weekend. Thank you. All right. Coming